Hi, here we are in Palm Springs, Emerson Collins, Del Shores, and Louise Beard for Southern Baptist Sissies, tomorrow night, part of the film festival. Yes, yes. I, I didn't know, she did so good, I didn't right? know she was going to be done. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're so excited to be here. Uh, first of all, we want to thank Cinema Diverse, the Camelot, Michael, all who brought us here. We are sold out. We're so sold out that they've added a screening. And tonight we are on CBS2 Eye on the Desert, so we're about to go be on the TV. Yay, I like TV. That's why we look so pretty. CBS Local 2. Welcome to Eye on the Desert, another great film being featured at this week in Cinema Diverse Film Festival, Southern Baptist Sissies. And here to tell us the writer and director of the film, Del Shores, who started out as a play. And we also have Emerson Collins and Louise Beard, who is the executive producer. Thank you all for being here. And Louise Beard, who is the executive producer. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Dad. It's our pleasure. Always good to be in Palm Springs. Well, tell me a little bit about Southern Baptist Sissies. It originated as a play that you wrote. Just like Sorted Lives, it was a play. The difference between this film and Sorted Lives is I adapted Sorted Lives into film. This is literally, uh, we staged the play and then we filmed it as a film. But it has, uh, it, it looks like a film, it is a film, but it celebrates two mediums and part of the experience is when you come to see the film, it's almost as if you're part of the theater audience. Much more. Well, it's one of the exciting challenges is we wanted to share that uh, theatrical experience and all of the energy that the audience has, and so we had to shoot it as a play with live audiences with three cameras in the room, and then we went in and shot close-ups like a film so that we could combine the two to get the electricity of the comedy and the intimacy of the drama all in the same project. Now, which do you prefer in terms of, do you like acting in front of a live audience, or do you prefer the film medium? Uh, they're completely different. I mean, there's nothing that replaces the sort of enthusiasm of a theatrical response, but the intimacy that you get in film allows you to be much more introspective, so it's sort of getting to play both sides of the street in this one, which is really nice. And we're looking at a little bit of film now. At least talk a little bit about uh, this film festival and, and why this film is important to be uh, showcased here. Well, it's uh, the Gay and Lesbian Film, excuse me, Film Festival, and we have been in how many so far? This is our seventh, and we yesterday we won our third audience award, and uh, and we, we love Cinema Diverse. It's where Sorted Lives, the series premiered. Uh, we we were here with, with and then we, we were guests with my, my movie Blues for Willoughby, and they brought us in. And, you know, the Camelot. We love the Camelot. Sort of lives was there for 96 weeks. And the one thing about this film that I think that a lot of the Palm Springs audiences will adore is that Leslie Jordan's in it, Dale Dickey's in it, and uh, Ann Walker is in it, Rosemary Alexander, Newell Alexander, and then the sissies are wonderful. So Emerson is just amazing in the film, so very exciting. Okay. Annie, can we explain to you what we're doing to make this happen? There are three of us in a car on three different phones and we have merged all the phone calls. So it is like Doppler radar around here, saying something and then hearing everyone else say it. So we're super excited to be here with you. Oh, I'm so excited. We're at my star right before Sissies is going to screen at the Camelot Theater. We're here at the Palm Canyon Theater. A bunch of my plays have been here. My star's here, and all my cast is here just celebrating. Look at them celebrating. Oh, yeah. Guys, guys. Oh, okay, there's no, a little. Look at that spot right there. I do not get paid enough right for this shit. Right there. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, 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 you can just leave the spin. Come on. Get, I can't get out. 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 Get I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I'm through. We have just arrived at the Camelot Theaters for the opening of the Cinema Diverse Gay and Lesbian Film Festival tonight for two sold out screenings. And here, right in front of the theater, they have rented this giant party bus where they are showing sorted lives on the big screen. At least here, Should be a great night. Be in the places where I can Hi, 
it's Bobby, and we are here opening night of Cinema Diverse. This is uh, Southern Baptist Sissy's screening, sold out screening. We've got two sold out screenings. There's lots of food, there's lots of wine, there are a lot of people here that are big fans of this show, so I think we're off to a good start. Here we are at the meet and greet. The movie doesn't start for an hour, and people are already taking their seats. I'm going to have for the desserts. Don't, don't have a dessert. Don't look at those. You've got to keep your boyish figure. Yeah, but I'll have to take my clothes off again. <laughs> now I can eat cake. Hello, Palm Springs. It's always, it's always wonderful to come back. It feels like coming home when I come down here to the desert. So thank you for loving us and for supporting our work. Uh, we have over and over because I have things on them, and um, they just work, they work for nothing. I know so much on Ann Walker, she will work with me till I die. And Leslie Jordan, don't even get me started. Um, but uh, I really want to thank Michael. Thank you so much for calling me. And someone asked me today, they said, why, why did you do uh, Palm Springs and Cinema? I said, because it would have been wrong if we didn't. We had to do it. Rick and Rosine, thanks for all the support that you've given us uh, with, with Sort of Lives and all of you who have embraced us, and Jeremy and, and Jason. Um, we all worked for the passion of this because we, we, we were compelled to tell this story. So this is our story, this is our song. Thank you so much. We will talk to, to you after more about this and your experiences can be shared with us as well. Thank you so much. If, if, if you have to go to the restroom, you better run right now. It's two hours and 18 minutes, but it won't feel like it. I promise it's shorter than Les Mis. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. In the words of Latrell, what a nice turnout. Hey, Ann Walker, how's the screening going? Oh, it's going great. We had full houses, both theaters full. And I was in there, I was watching it, oh, it was just so well received, and I stayed in there right up until my scene was over. I come on pretty early. <laughs> and then what? Well, and then we all went upstairs and had dinner, but it's going really well. I am positive. <laughs> This is, so this is Dale Dickey on a diving board. And I'm a little bit confused by what is happening. <laughs> She's posing. You can't take these people anywhere. This is the after party. <laughs> See, this is the kind of sacrifices we make for our art. Dale Dickey running across a diving board at the after party. Okay, we're here at Lulu's, the after brunch party for... Uh, Cinema Diverse, we had two amazing screenings sold out, and we're really actually celebrating our preacher's birthday. He, Newell Alexander is 78 years old today, and we all aspire to be him. Happy birthday, Newell. Thank you so much. I got propositioned last night. <laughs> Once by a woman. <laughs> That's a success. Every wave. Thanks, Paul Springs! We love you, P.S.